He's the crowdfunded streaming show that's tapped into the power of Jesus. The Chosen has racked up a huge following with over 100 million viewers. Fox 5's Sharon Crowley has more on the new season and why not everyone feels it's a faithful interpretation in this ed edition of Finding Faith. What wondrous love is this? We're very, very excited about this. I love season one through three. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden. It's timely. It's made for such a time as this. But you are the son of God. Fans are eager to watch the new season of the global streaming sensation, The Chosen. What wondrous love is this? Creators of one of the largest ever crowdfunded projects say 100 million people around the world have already watched earlier episodes of the TV series that depicts the life of Jesus Christ. It's time. Actor Jonathan Rumi, who portrays Jesus, explains why he thinks the series has so many loyal fans. It's made the story and the message and the mission of Christ accessible and identifiable uh, to people on, on a, on a, in their daily lives. Actress Elizabeth Tabish plays Mary Magdalene, a devout follower redeemed by Jesus. These are challenging concepts of, of loving your enemy and turning the other cheek and um, going two miles instead of one. And I mean, these are, these are, they go against our <laughs> instincts in a lot of ways, what Jesus taught. And, um, but they're, but they're the thing that brings peace. The Chosen is streaming. Season four, though, opened in theaters across the country and right here in New York City. This worldwide attention the series has gotten has also generated some criticism. I really don't care about avoiding criticism or trying to gain praise. Dallas Jenkins is the director and creator of The Chosen. He addressed some of the criticism in a post on YouTube. Some viewers have accused the show of being influenced by the Mormon religion. Of course, I'm not quoting from the Book of Mormon. I've never read the Book of Mormon. There are those within Christian orthodoxy that, that do not affirm Mormonism as truly a Christian faith or part of the Christian religion. Pastor A.R. Bernard is the founder of the Christian Cultural Center, a megachurch in Brooklyn. I think that they should take it for the entertainment value, uh, but f as far as taking it doctrinally, they shouldn't do that. Some critics have also questioned the Chosen's interpretation of the New Testament of the Bible. I think there's always going to be critics. All that matters is that we continue to tell a story that is, is true to form, that is, you know, derived from scriptures itself. Despite some critics, The Chosen's appeal is undeniable for millions of fans. It seems ancient lessons from the life of Jesus are now resonating in modern times. Sharon Crowley, Fox 5 News.